So, you know, James, I was talking with Jeremy Latcham a couple months ago, and he told us in that first meeting that you took with him and Jonathan Schwartz, yeah. you listened to their pitch, and then you shook their hands and said good luck with the movie and walked out thinking there was no way this would work. I just didn't think it seemed like the best idea for a Marvel movie. But there was something about it, and it wasn't that long after I walked out. It was on my drive home from Manhattan Beach that day mm -hmm. that I just started to see visually how the movie could come together. And, you know, quite honestly, I started to see the movie in my head that the movie is today. A big, brash, colorful, yet still gritty and emotional film. And a movie that wasn't necessarily like the movies I love from the past, but that made people feel like those movies made people feel. And so I was extremely excited about it. Once it started going in my head, it just sort of started to come together and it made sense. Mm -hmm. What percentage? I don't know, 12%. 12%? <laughs> Similarly, Kevin was talking about when you wrote the 12% scene yeah, where yeah. <laughs> Quill lays out his plot, that was a scene that he sort of pointed to being like, yeah, we need more of this. I think it really is about taking turns at times in the movie where people don't expect them, whether it's through the music happening or through that scene, which happens at a time in the movie at the beginning of the third act when you don't expect a five minute dialogue scene between our action adventure heroes or the, the things that happen at the end of the movie, which are very unexpected. I think it's about making those twists and turns that people don't quite expect within the overall structure of a very traditional action adventure film. What is that? It's a bomb. And you leave it lying around? I was gonna put it in a box. What's a box gonna do? What to you is the most you moment in the finished film, do you feel like? I think the fact that the music is in there, that I put in the script from the beginning, I think the fact that I, you know, worked on the score from Tyler Bates, uh, you know, we wrote it all before we shot. We shot the whole movie to the music, whether it was the soundtrack or the score. Um, I think that the naturalness of the performances and the humor um, is, they're, they're all sort of things that I've been working on in other movies. And, and now it feels like I was doing that to sort of lead me to this place to be able to do it for Guardians. Marvel, your universe.